All right, so not only do we have one, but we have nine gaming mouses here from Wish today. And we're gonna see if they're any good for gaming, especially for competitive FPS shooters. So we're gonna take these mouses through Aim Labs and also a deathmatch in Valorant to see how they stack up against each other and see if any of these mouse can be worth the recommendation from me. So this is my first time actually purchasing something from Wish. So I hope I didn't get scammed because I've seen other videos from other creators and they purchase something from Wish and they get like something completely, totally different. Let's open these up to see if these mouse are worth the money. I'm gonna open up the first package here. We're gonna have the image of the mouse on the screen so you can know the price and how it looks like. So let's open this up and let's see what we get here. Nice red color. Oh my God, I think it's already broken. Oh. No, no, it didn't break. I just clipped it back in. <laughs> Feels very cheap for sure. Oh my God, it sounds terrible. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is unbox all the mouses and lay them out here on the table so you can see them. Get a nice little box here. Okay, so this comes in this nice box. So you see that RGB on there, that's nice. All right, this one is already better quality for sure. I can already feel the difference. Wow, this one's heavy. Nice little mouse here with the honeycomb. All right, this is mouse number three. Not bad, not bad. Reminds me of the Model D. This reminds me of the Model D for sure, the shape. Okay, here we go. This is the mouse. Not the best packaging. We got a little white box. This is the wire mouse with a nice little dragon, you know. Gotta have that red and black and dragon for it to be legit and a gaming mouse. Mouse number five. Oh, what the? What's in here? Open? The dong goes in here. I thought something was broken. But here's the mouse. Similar to that first one that we opened. But a little different shape. Okay. Came in a little bubble wrap. This is mouse number six, nice black. I think this uh, lights up. There's gonna be some LEDs there, some RGBs. Feels very cheap. Oh my God, the clicks are, ugh, okay. Ooh, now this one looks legit. Nice little box here. Ooh, now this mouse is pretty cool. Nice little metal finish. I don't know if it's in metal, it's probably plastic. I think it's plastic, but here we go. K Snake. Where's the side button on this? There's no side buttons. Here's the mouse. Free Wolf. This is the last mouse here. Do these wheels even do anything? Oh my, <laughs> this click is freaking terrible. Oh my God. This is gonna be fun aiming with this. All right, so here's all the mouses. We got mouse number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight and nine all right so let's put these to the test to see if any of them are actually worth the price and worth your time and money okay so we're going to test each of these mouse through aim labs and also valorant we're going to do two grid shot tests take the average of the two and then we're going to go into valorant and play a death match and we're going to see how many kills we can get with each of these mouse all right so we're going to test out mouse number one first here it is again we're going to do aim labs do it twice on grid shot and i'm gonna set up the computer the exact same way how i set up when i play valorant i'm gonna pull the screen forward just like this and i'm gonna have my earbuds in as you can see i can already tell i'm gonna be terrible at this <laughs> especially with this mouse here this mouse feels so cheap <laughs> i swear if i get better scores than i would with my regular mouse i'll be surprised ah glad i didn't get a better score than i do with my regular mouse let's hurt all right this mouse just I can't freaking 180. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, I'm gonna shorten up these death matches. Once it reaches five minutes, I'm gonna stop. I cannot move from left to right with this mouse. It's terrible at doing that. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. I'm, I'm, I'm. 13 kills. Okay, so this is mouse number two. It got the RGB. You know, it's already gonna be better than the first mouse, but the build quality on this is solid. Scroll wheel feels great, but the left and right trigger is definitely need some work. It's very subtle. You don't even know if you're actually clicking on it, but the mouse itself feels really good. So let's give it a try. All right, I can already tell I'll beat that first score from that first mouse already. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's get it. Oh my God, I'm missing all these shots. Not bad. Okay, this is actually works. Alright, so I'll kill you. Fight. Charlie Mike, let's move. Target 86. Dominated. Four 
kills. One more. Give me one more. No. Okay, 20 kills. All right, so this is mouse seven. This is actually my favorite looking mouse out of all of them so far. This is like a little transformer mouse. And it has like a spider logo right here on the bottom. Kind of remind me of Spider-Man. Uh, the shape is not the best though. What is this sensor? It's like pulling the mouse across and it's not reading it. This sensor is... <laughs> 37,000. Come on. For long, let's send the spike. No prisoners. This is the worst performing one. This mouse is just unplayable. <laughs> unplayable. So you're not gonna see every single clip of me playing aim labs and also death matches with these mouse because it's gonna be multiple hours that I spent on all these mouses. But to sum it up, these mouse are not worth your money. I mean, yes, they are cheap. They're 10 to $20. They have RGB. Now, if I were to recommend maybe one or two of them, it would have to be the second the third and the fourth mouse that I've used. To be honest, you should just save up your money and buy a better mouse from Razer or Logitech. And they only cost maybe around $30, $40, at most $50. And it's not gonna be too far from these budget mouse from Wish. And it's gonna save you a lot of money and save you a lot of time because the sensors on these are terrible. About 75% of them, the sensors were just not moving with my hand. As you can see, like when I was making these turns, while playing Valorant in death matches, I cannot move my crosshair and it was acting up, it was not responding. I mean, it was fine for aim labs. I didn't feel any issue with aim labs, but once I went into Valorant and started playing death match, imagine playing with that mouse in game. Like you're gonna have so many issues with it and you're gonna be frustrated. I mean, if you're like a gamer that's not playing FPS shooters and you don't need your mouse to respond that well, then sure, that's fine. Maybe some of these mouse can work out for you, they're only 10 to $20, but overall these mouses are not worth it. This mouse looks like a Transformer and has a Spider-Man logo, like come on, and has RGBs. It looks so cool, but this was one of the worst mouse when it came to actual performance. The sensor, it was one of the clips you saw earlier of me just not being able to move whatsoever when I was using this mouse. So it was funny, it's funny. And I just can't believe that people actually buy this stuff on Wish and they had reviews. Maybe they're fake reviews, I don't know, but save your money. This stuff is freaking useless. I have all these mouse. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all these mouse. All right, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with all these mouses here. I have nine of them and almost all of them suck, right? I don't, I don't wanna give them away because they're just so bad and they're not even worth giving away. But I don't know, what you guys want me to do with these mouse? Let me know down in the comment section. Um, maybe I'll use one of them just to test out, see if I can get to higher rank in Valorant on my alt account, but that'll be a fun video to do. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you smash the thumbs up button for the YouTube algorithm. That's gonna be greatly appreciated so I can do more videos like these. Subscribe down below, comment on uh, what other interesting wish items you want me to test out in the future for tech products. Uh, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace. I'll see you guys in the next video. Ugh. All right. I'm dropping these mouses everywhere now.